Professor Harper, what particular aspect of Machiavelli's work or life makes him important to the study of international relations? Well, I think Machiavelli is he's a kind of godfather of the realist outlook of what is known as the realist or neo-realist outlook in international relations today because of his view of human nature as being flawed, uh, aggressive. Human beings are uh, ambitious and suspicious, he famously said, which lies at the heart of the, the, uh, the realist view of human nature. And the, the behavior of states is a consequence ultimately of, of this uh, aggressive, selfish, never satisfied nature of, of uh, human beings. Now that's an important contribution that Machiavelli, I'm not saying that it's necessarily true, but that it's a, it's a view that Machiavelli expressed which has been inherited by uh, and it has influenced modern realist theory. By the same token, states uh, are behave selfishly and often aggressively because they are they're run by people uh, whose nature uh, reflects what I was uh, what I was just talking about. That's not the only reason. There are also factors that have to do with the structure of the state system. But I think, in any case, Machiavelli is a, is a kind of inspirer of the modern, what we call realist view of international politics. What is the most important modern lesson, or lesson modern nation states can draw from the political philosophy of Machiavelli? Well, there are probably several. One is his emphasis on prudence, caution calculating your strengths and weaknesses before you decide, for example, to go to war, or you before you decide to enter into an alliance, before you decide to undertake any major project which entails risks, and you have to be very, very, it seems obvious, but uh, it's something that Machiavelli stressed, and it's something that states often ignore, and that they continue to ignore and continue to uh, to, uh, to, gr to regret that they had ignored it. Another, another point he makes is that the, the uh, system of states is this, what we know, we, the stato of the state is the basic unit of international politics. And, that that's prob and that's probably not going to change in any fundamental way. It would be it's utopian to dream of some kind of confederation of nations or, or united nations that that's more than a, simply a collection of sovereign states. Both Alexander Hamilton and Machiavelli believed in the political utility of religion. Has religion lost its role in the West as a tool for political obedience? I think it has, in the sense that Machiavelli intended it. And Machiavelli was looking, it had, it had already lost its relevance in 15th century, 16th century Italy. Machiavelli was looking at the role of religion during the Roman Republic when patriotism was encouraged by uh, fear of God and worship of the, of the local gods was a way of inspiring men to go and fight and to die for the city. Today, that kind of patriotism is not, uh, it seems it's just not something that we, we, what we instill in our children. I think partly as a, partly as a result of the, sec of the First World War and the Second World War and, and uh, the trend toward uh, professional armies rather than citizen armies. No, I don't think a religion, we don't look on religion today, it's, it's connected with patriotism, but we don't look on religion as a way of mobilizing uh, military power, which is really what he was talking about. Thank you, Professor.